Hello everybody. Today I'm doing a number of short videos talking about the services that I offer. So um, this, this recording is a little bit about spirit release. I will describe a little bit about what, um, what I mean as spirit release. I don't intend this as a training program and I, I do hope to do more videos of that nature sort of later on or short training courses, but for now, so I will do a brief, brief description of what I consider um, spirit or spirit attachments to be, and um, a little bit about how the way I work. So spirit attachments, what are they? Lots, um, lots of people will see spirit attachments as, as spirit, human, human souls that have died, not gone to the light, and then they attach into our energy field for lots of different reasons, but usually because of resonance. Um, the obvious ones, drug addict, drug addicts will go to drug addicts, alcoholics to alcoholics, but it's not limited to that at all. It can be, of course, be family members and loved ones that don't want to leave us, and then they sort of hook into our energy system. Or it can be people that feel familiar or we feel familiar to them. So sort of, I've had clients come to me as simple as they have a dancer and the person that's sort of lost and lost their soul, sort of um, they have a dancer and they're like, this is what I want to do. They don't want to move on. So they, they attach to people. And this can cause a lot of problems. The obvious things is when it, it gets to almost like the stage of what may be described as psychosis and uh, people are hearing the voices in their head. But just feeling unusual pains, um, unusual emotions that don't fit with um, your normal way of being. I had a young lady working in a pub, picked up an attachment who she worked in a bar. He liked to drink she suddenly changed her drinking habits and it's because he liked to be her, the, the spirit attachment, you know, they're, and they're not always malicious. People worry about these things, but they're not generally, they are just people that uh, say died and not gone to the light. Um, so um, I've got various techniques that I can use to communicate with the attachments, but these days I predominantly do that within light language sessions. So um, all of my light language sessions will have an element of energy clearance and spirit release anyway. But I have put this section separately because there are also people that find me for curse work or for they, they know that they've got curses or they know they've got dark entity attachments or they may have had uh, extreme sort of galactic visitations and um, unusual experiences that some people might write off as psychosis. But of course... I will listen to anybody's story and honestly nothing in the in the world of spirit release nothing is too weird for me so yeah talking already about some um, galactic experience that's kind of moves on to the next element of spirit release and that's your galactic oddities so I do see a lot of um what I sort of blanket term as galactic parasites and uh, can equally equally so sort of quite easily sort of remove those from people's bodies. Some spirit attachments can be linked in with um, alternate lives, past lives, if you like. And of course, they can be human or galactic. Um, if, yeah, <laughs> and there's all sorts and also nature spirits as well. Yeah, I do see not so many, don't see so many nature spirits, but if they can cause havoc, both people and properties, I see more nature spirits probably within houses than I do with people um, and people have sort of <laughs> called them into their property and then they can they can play havoc with the sort of energy systems of the house um, within your water and within your electrics. So again, another side of that, as well as clearing from people, I can also clear from from properties. And again, I, I mainly don't do those or sort of within within a light language session. So please find me if you're having any unusual experiences. If you're worried, if you're worried about voices in your head, obviously please do um, you know in, inquire about sort of. Yeah, with the doctors and other medical reasons.
but often it is energy fracture and um, spirit attachments that are causing problems okay anyway find me louise.rhodes8 at gmail.com or say my website it's uh, louiserhodes.co.uk okay thanks <laughs>